here in Amherst, Texas, and we're going to talk with Steve Campbell. And Steve, what is the name of your business? Steve's Wooden Creation. I do woodworking through my shop. And we are going to go inside and see all of his wonderful creations in woodwork. Steve is a wonderful man, and we have some of his handiwork. Steve, how did you get started in this wonderful hobby? Well, basically, my dad started this off. And, uh, what was his name? Robert Cecil Campbell. And he retired, and he's passed away. And I kind of picked it up from him for a little while, and then I quit. And then my daughter-in-law come to me and asked me if I could uh, do something for my son. And I agreed. And after that, it just kind of went out of control. Well, now, uh, what about, is it just Christmas items? Pretty much the Christmas items. If somebody wants something different, I'd be glad to try it. But I've just always done Christmas stuff, and... I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing the nativity scenes, uh, the Santa Clauses. It's just fun. Now, how do you get started? I start out by buying, I buy signboard, which is a better quality of plywood than if you just go buy plywood and work with it. It's got a smooth surface. I put down, I buy my patterns from the Winfield Collection, and I'll lay them down and trace them off. After that, I will come back and I'll take a jigsaw and cut everything out, and then I'll sit down and start painting. Now, um, do you, all of your patterns are from Winfield Collection or not? No, ma'am, I've got some patterns that were my dad's uh -huh. that he bought probably in Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina. They were just hand drawn. Uh -huh. And it's been a treat to do some of them because some of them are very elaborate. I've got one of the Santa and reindeer that's probably 16 foot long. Oh, wonderful. I've got a uh, tractor pulling a wagon that's about 12 foot long that my son has. And I've just, I've got all kinds of different things. I love doing it. I've got a few of my selections around here, but uh, most of them I've sold. And I just enjoy doing it. I'm, I'm hoping to do more and more. Well, now, you haven't always had this barn across from your home, have you? No, ma'am. I started off with a little shop that whenever you're trying to paint, you had one side of the board you could go down because you couldn't get down the other side. <laughs> and we worked with that. And uh, after it took off, kind of, well, I've been wanting a bigger shop. And so we decided, okay, we're going to do it. Now, what year did you build the barn? I built it two years ago, so it's been about uh, 2015. Wonderful. Now let's look at some of the th things that you have done and tell us a little some bit about Some of my favorite things are like the John Deere tractor with the Santa. I enjoy doing the woodworking and, and going in because that one has two or three different pieces you have to put together. So that, that makes it a little bit more complicated. But... I was a farmer, so I go back to the tractor scene. I love that. And all kids love Santa. So of course. <laughs> and we've got Santas like this on the on the tractor. I've got the Santas praying over the baby Jesus. I've got fireman Santas. I've got you just name it. It's beautiful work. I like to do the nativity scenes. They're very meaningful to me. And this year, we have a deal at church where that it's called Lord's Acre. It was based when the farmers used to give an acre of their crop to the Lord. Well, I don't have an acre. So I'm going to donate the nativity scene to be auctioned off. Oh, wonderful. That's a great idea, Steve. So this, this is my giving back. And I've got other things. I've got crosses. I've got the Santas going up the uh, ladder. I've got elves. I've got toy soldiers. I have all kinds of things to work with. I'm very blessed.
Oh, you have been extremely blessed. And uh, we need to say right here that you also work for your wife, uh, Kay Campbell, down at Kay and Kay Pharmacy right here in Milshoe at 1411 West American Boulevard. Now, what days do you work on? Well, that's kind of hard. I work whatever day she does. She slowed down, which thank goodness we're we're getting the age that we we can slow down some. So we try to work two, three days a week. I'll help around the store, and then I do all the delivering for from uh, Sudan, Amherst, and Littlefield. I see. That's wonderful. Now, uh, this little elf over here, that's one that your dad bought the pattern that, for. That is a pattern my dad bought. Uh, in fact... All three of these elves right here that we're seeing is patterns my dad bought. Oh, okay. And I I just did these this year. The Toy Soldier I just did this year, which was one that my dad had. Uh, this is one I did last year. Some of these I display in my yard. Yes. So, uh, And then if there's something that you see that you like, I can try to make it for you. Now, uh, how could they get in touch with you, Steve? Uh, they could... if. They come by the store, they can leave their name, number, I'll get back with them, or they can call me. My phone number is 891-2795. That's 806-891-2795. Oh, I just think you are so creative, and it's such a wonderful hobby that you have. I think it's more the, than a hobby this time of year, though. No, not really. It's just... It, it depends on what you take. Uh, you know, some of these projects may take eight or ten hours. Uh, some of them take 40 to 50 hours. So it just depends on what you're looking at. And if it's not real, real tedious, I, it's it's a lot of fun. But when you have to get down and try to figure out what color to do the eyelashes and stuff like that, it gets kind of hard. Does Kay ever help you? No, ma'am. No. <laughs> you heard that, Kay? No, ma'am. <laughs> oh, she doesn't paint. Now, you've got over here uh, the, some crosses that you've done. Yes, and, isn't this something fairly new? Well, the, the flaming cross there is a Methodist si uh, symbol, sure. and I've done it for, oh, probably 10 years. I use uh, mesquite, ash, and uh, walnut. To, to make it because the mesquite has a natural red color to it and just to get the contrast. The others I just did this year, uh, it's again another thing I'm thinking about doing for Lord's Acre. Oh, well, that is very appropriate. Now, uh, tell me uh, that, like, sort of price wise, uh, what would something, well, say the nativity over there. The nativity scene goes for $275. Okay. The John Deere tractor with the Santa on it that I had, uh, I sell it for $250. Uh, the fireman Santa and the praying Santa run between two and two and a quarter. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it sounds high. But when oh, you oh no, for years and years you'll have it. You'll have it for years, and like I said, just one sheet of the the board that I work with is fifty dollars, and that's not counting any labor or paints or, and in fact, I'm using some of the paints that my dad had. Oh really? And my dad died in 1998. Oh my. So did he live in Amherst? No, ma'am. We, my dad was raised around here, and then we moved to South Texas when in '66. And he died down there. I see. And so now, how did you and Kay get to uh, gather? Well, that's kind of a long story. We met at a wedding, oh. and I brought her home. <laughs> and we, I was living in South Texas. She's living here. Uh, we wrote letters. We had one date and got married. Wonderful. And what year was that? 1976. We just celebrated 41 years. And so now tell me about your children. I have two children, a son and a daughter. I have right now three grandchildren, Lexi, which is 17, Cade, which is seven, or fixed to be seven, and Callan, which is four months. I have one on the way, which is Jacob, be born in December. What a wonderful family. Now tell me about... 
Uh, did you tell me the names of your children? Stephanie is my daughter, uh, Stephanie Hunter, and her husband, Jason. And they live where? They live in Shallow Water. She works for Interim Care. She is the office manager in Lubbock. My son-in-law, Jason, works for Webb, Webb & Wright as an accountant. My son is Justin. He is the agronomy manager at uh, Ag Producers Co-op in Olton. And my daughter-in-law does uh, coding for uh, Medicare. Oh, boy, that's a job. Yes, I'm very blessed. My, we have the medical field kind of covered because my daughter-in-law and daughter are both RNs with my wife being a pharmacist, so they take care of me pretty well. They certainly do. They certainly do. Now, if you would like him to make something for you, well, you can call, come by K and K Pharmacy. Leave your name, address, telephone number, or call. 806-891-2795 or you can come by my shop if I'm home uh, it's 608 Washington in Amherst, Texas.